Hey, I'm Jesse Wyland, and College Life presents... Case My name is Jesse Wyland. I'm traveling the country, going from school to school, to discover what college life across America is really all about. This is what I found. If you travel to the middle of the heartland of our country, past countless miles of farmland, and into the Flint Hills, you'll end up at a state university dating back to 1863. Located in Manhattan, Kansas, a.k.a. the Little Apple, or the Hat, is the Agricultural School of Kansas State University. With about 20,000 undergraduate students, this is the home of the Wildcats. It doesn't take long to realize that the stereotype of Midwesterners being as nice and polite as you hear they are is actually very true. My favorite part about Kansas State? My favorite part is, I think, all the people. Everyone's really nice, and I know that's a big reputation about K-State, is that everyone's really nice. And so, basically anyone you meet is super talkative and not judgmental or anything, so I think the people. My favorite part would probably be the student atmosphere. Um, even though it's a big school, it just feels like a little school. My favorite part about K-State is probably just the environment here on campus. Uh, it's really, I mean, they say it's one big happy purple family and it really is. I mean, every day it's, regardless of whether or not you know a lot of people, you're gonna feel like you belong here. Family is one thing that we always like say and present here at K-State. Uh, I think it really started um, with our football program. You see it everywhere uh, during football stadiums. Uh, you'll see pictures of the student section holding up a big flag that has a cat and family on it. Um, we got football players holding a piece of wood that says family when they run out of the run out of the tunnel. Um, and it's cool because all the students here really do uh, act on that and everyone here is so connected whether you're a Greek life or not or in organizations, there's nothing here that sets one person apart from another. This is a football school at heart. The school and surrounding community truly love their Wildcats. What is football season like here? Crazy? It's crazy. It's it's wild. I love the atmosphere. Uh, everyone's enjoying themselves. It's like one big family in one big stadium. And they have no love for their in-state rivals from Lawrence. Yeah, we're talking about you, Kansas Jayhawks. How do you feel about the Jayhawks? Not a big fan. Okay. Yeah. Big I'm rivals. Big. Yeah, big rivals. K-State students have one of the most interesting traditions called the Wabash Cannonball, which is done non-stop at games and even at the bars. Okay, so uh, with the Wash Game Ball, it's my personal favorite K State tradition. So how that tradition started, though, on uh, Friday the 13th, December 1969. Uh, Nichols Hall, okay. which counted as our music department, was set on fire on a Vietnam War, Vietnam War protest. Um, and so there was a mad rush to save all the instruments, so they saved all the instruments, and then there was a mad rush to save all the music. And the only piece of music they were able to save in its entirety was the Wabash Cannonball. I hadn't done it in years, and then I came back for the first football game uh, my freshman year, and we must have done it like dozens of times. It felt like the entire time you're just sitting there forever, just rocking like, back and forth. It's so over. It's so fun the first couple times, and then you're like, I'm still excited to do it every single time, but you slowly hate it. More. Arguably the most distinctive and beloved part of K-State is Aggieville. Escape the limestone campus to grab a bite or go to the bars and feel the pulse of the town. If you're looking for a fun time at K-State, you'll find it here. It's called Aggieville because we were the Aggies before we were the Wildcats. Ah, okay. And so that's why it's called Aggieville. It's been around for over 100 years. Um, but basically, it's just the bar district. It's the bar district, but it's food, family friendly during the day, and then at night, it's obviously the bar district. What is the best food spot on campus? On campus? Or off campus, okay. you know, in the area. Well, I'd say definitely any of the bars in Aggieville. Aggieville's a big spot. Aggieville. Uh, yeah, it's okay. really close to campus. Uh, a lot of fun bars to go to, just a great atmosphere overall. Oh, man. I Personally, really, I like 63, oh, yeah. 1863. Just because I can't go there without running into a ton of people that I know from oh. different things. So, uh, For me, it's O'Malley's. Uh, it's just very nice, sit down, chill. 
talk to people. And Whenever we have a 21st birthday, we always start at O'Malley's and we'll mm -hmm. do a Belfast, which is like an Irish car bomb. It's basically ah. the same thing. Okay. And yeah, okay. it's cool. I mean, Johnny Cause is like a big one, I think, because it has like a big dance floor. So like a lot of people can go there. And I guess from what I was talking to some older people about, a lot of people do go there, like a bunch of Greek people do. Um, to hang out and whatnot. Uh, kites is good. Yeah, kites kites is combines with Rusty's and a lot of people go there. Kites uh, kites and Rusty's, I would say, are probably the most popular bar. One of my favorite places to go is down in Aguila. It's okay. uh, so long to live. Okay. Um, it's kind of like a good middle price place if I'm not trying to you know, spend way too much money. Uh, they're known for their blackberry raspberry dip. Uh, sounds a little weird. Everyone's really into it though. It's pretty solid. I would say definitely the varsity truck. Varsity truck. What's that the is varsity the best. Pretty much. You go up there and you have like a ton of donuts you can buy or like uh, grilled cheese, mac and cheese, or corn dog. And who would have guessed that Kansas would have such great eats? These are some damn good donuts. Partying might not be as big here as other large state schools, but there's State Patty's Day celebration called Fake Patty's Day because it comes a week before the real holiday is one of the best in the nation. Okay. It started out with just a small group of people that said, you know, you're putting our spring break on St. Patty's Day, we're gonna make a fake Patty's Day, you know, mm, do it during the week. Clever. And then it started getting bigger and bigger and it turned into a whole city thing yeah. where people come from all over the nation. Whether it's hiking, biking, or going to the great workout facilities on campus, these students stay very active. We're really active walking and biking. Basically, people here in Kansas State is super active. We're kind of uh, a lot of like hiking and like rock climbing stuff like that. What's the deal with all that stuff? Yeah, I, uh, I actually was going to go to University of Arkansas because of all of that kind of outdoor biking and all of that kind of stuff. And I was like, I was totally sold on it. And then I came out here and uh, my buddy showed me around the Kansas Prairie and I realized it's, it's gorgeous and there's a lot of those sorts of opportunities here too. Growing up in the Northeast, it really is a culture shock to meet people who are genuinely this nice and polite all the time. This is a very close-knit community that cherishes their sports and traditions. Aggieville is truly a gem with some of the best food and most character we've seen at any school yet. If you're looking for a diverse school, you may want to look elsewhere. But if you're looking to join a family, as they say at Kansas State, you'll be hard-pressed to find a better school than this one. With about 15,000 undergraduates, this is the home of the Syracuse Orange. What is your favorite part about Syracuse? Honestly, the atmosphere, the sporting events, everything's just great. It's a great field to the uh, university.